The bullet's form will impact the charge. Here is more of Hodgkin's online data. This is for 270, this is for 130 grain bullets, but one of these is a Barnes triple shock. It's an all copper bullet. It has less density, copper is less dense than lead, so it takes a much longer shape to, to equal the same 130 grains. Hornady's Spitzer Point is a jacketed lead bullet is fairly soft and easy to conform to the barrel and what you'll end up having is different fitting characteristics how how they fit and match the gun and therefore you're going to have a little different performance out of these two dissimilar bullets your bullet shape and form will impact your load just like the bullet mass itself let's look at using the same bullet but with different powder. Here we have a 280 Remington and we're looking at two quality extruded hydrogen powders 4831 and 4895. Why would one be different than the other? Well if we look at starting loads we get the same bullet running around 2700 feet per second. That's not a bad philosophy. 2732, 2711, very comparable. Let's look then at the charge required. Well, on the 4831, we require 54 grains and it generates 41,000 copper crush compared to 42 grains of the 4895 and it's 43.2 copper crush. So, what does this mean? What can we do with this information? Well, if we were concerned with cost, maybe the 4895 might be our choice because you see it only takes 42 grains of that powder to generate the 2700 feet per second and that's not bad but uh, when we look at the 54 grains of the 4831 what that tells us is 54 grains is easier to adjust plus or minus one tenth of a grain the load accuracy plus or minus a tenth of a grain on the larger charge means we could actually be potentially more accurate with the 4831. It would cost us a little bit more because per pound we would get fewer bullets out of it, but it would be a little bit more accurate. It all depends on what we're wanting to do. Now in this example we use starting loads but if we looked at what things would be on the uppermost max. Now I try to stay away from maximum loads unless I really have a quality firearm that I have complete confidence in simply because a, an explosion at the breech is probably not going to be real comfortable for me. But since the 4895 extruded powder generates just a little bit higher pressure all things being equal we stop have to stop its performance a little bit slower than we're able to get with the 4831 in fact we can get according to the online data 2927 feet per second out of a maximum charge of 4831 and we can only get 2830 out of the 4895. Both will kill a deer.